Hey guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Resident Evil 6 for the Xbox 360. That's right, today we're testing out the Xenia emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're going to have 16GB of RAM in dual channel memory mode, and once again we're just testing out another game to see the progress of the Xenia emulator. Literally all it is, because I've done too many benchmarks on Resident Evil 6. You can test, you can play this game everywhere. But we want to see what the Xenia can do with the game. That's always the interesting topic. To see what Xenia can do next. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. It really helps me out, guys, when you subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of content like this on a daily basis. Like, I try to do 10 videos or so, such a day every single day going forward so it really helps me when you actually subscribe to the channel because it helps me rank better nonetheless let's get this a Resident Evil 6 now there was one thing I noticed about that whole thing I heard no audio so I don't think the audio works uh, nope could be just me could have been just that scene that was weird because I was playing that the whole time I was like I don't hear any audio now from what I'm seeing here so far this is a hectic scene now this is the first time I'm playing the game obviously I always play it just right off the bat. I do not let it compile or anything because I want you all to see how it plays from the start. I do not want it to compile because then that's kind of misleading. I want you guys to see how it performs right off the bat so you know what you're getting. So far though, it's not the worst. Like we do get starters like this in almost every game, man, but it'll get better. The CPU doesn't seem to be too overutilized, it's only using 30%. Compared to Dead Rising, which I just tested, which is using over 50, uh, this is a walk in the park, clearly. Now, obviously, Xenia doesn't utilize games properly yet. Still, you know, still relatively new ish. Oh, wow, we're getting some weird graphical here it glitches here. But we can live with those. Let's move on with our lives. Seems a bit dark. Maybe I have the dark, the brightness a bit too low. Nonetheless, we're moving on. We're moving on. Could be worse. Could be worse. Okay, we're definitely too dark here. So this is definitely another graphical issue here. It's not over yet. Definitely another graphical issue, but it's not the worst. Oh look, the lightning has gone up way better. Definitely was an issue there. I played that way too many times. <laughs> that that's not that's not something that happens. I don't think Elena hanging in there once again for like the twentieth time. I beat this whole game on my channel, by the way. I love this go. game. People, you know, people think about the whole action thing. Loved it. Loved it. Resident Evil 5 was a bit uh, wacky for me, but Resident Evil 6 was definitely good. I definitely enjoyed Resident Evil 6, especially the co-op. Loved the co-op. Revelations 2 is probably my favorite, though. I don't know, man. I just like I just like the You're setting of Revelations too, because it feels now. like a, a, it could definitely be a movie plot, and that's what interests me about it. Yeah, so this looks actually quite nice. I'm gonna test this on the PS3 at some point and then destroy my CPU because our PS3 games take out way too much CPU usage. But the, here it seems fine. Like I told you, after a bit, all of that, all of that extra frame issues we're getting that goes away and that doesn't last long that never lasts long and this is also being run on a capture card by the way in case you were wondering so everything you see is how the game actually performs right off the jump for the A7 4790 with the AMD RX 570 we're using about 5 gigs of RAM hmm for some reason I feel like the more games I play, the more games I realize they're using way more RAM. But 5 gigs isn't bad. The user this normally uses over 7 to 8, which is kind of ridiculous, but nonetheless. Through this. You need some BP specs to play some of these games, man. It's crazy. Emulation ain't easy. Especially with last gen. Two gens back, still ain't, ain't easy. Need some beefy stuffs. We're just not there yet. For lore and the hardware, I should say. The A7 4790 is still getting up there in the year. Four cores and eight threads. Let's take a break. Eh, questionable. And the RX 570, which really is being pushed here, having issues as well. But nonetheless, once again, I hope you guys enjoy these videos, man. I do emulation of all kinds RPCS3, Xenia, and Yuzu. 
So if you guys enjoy any of that, you can check it out. And if you want to see integrated graphics, show me showing you how to run games on lower end hardware. I do that as well. I do it all, man. I'm kind of a survivor of all. I don't know what that means. Leon, are you there? Hannigan. Good to hear you're okay. Where's Helena? She's not doing too good. She needs medical attention. Do you have any herbs left? A few, but I'm not sure they'll help. Okay, listen. Just follow my instructions. Dude, this would have been a blockbuster when this first came out. That's kind of crazy. Hold on, Helena. When I think about it, this would have been a blockbuster when this came out in 2012. I actually do remember it coming out in 2012. Oh, wow. Well, that's not good for the graphics. I knew there was audio issues. I knew it. Look, the audio is completely gone. I think the whole thing... Oh, never mind. I thought it crashed. This is what Resident Evil is supposed to be like. The true horror. I wonder if it's going to catch itself back once the cutscene ends. Whoa, Leon's face does not go back. Yeah, we are. Hi, our face went back. If all that blood hub is now not infected, I keep I question that every day of my life. <laughs> I wake up and like, how is Leon not a fighter from that first zombie Resident Evil 6? It don't make sense, man. <laughs> Can't let your guard down for a second. Alright, so the cutscenes seem to have issues. In-game cutscenes, though. Seem to be living large. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Cinematics issues, in-game cinematic cutscenes, fine. But you can't win them all. But I hope you guys enjoy once again. And I will see you guys next time. Got a lot of content coming out today. So if you're watching this now. Expect a lot more content. You can leave a comment down below. If somebody would like to see me test. Even if it's on integrated graphics. I will get to it eventually. I've sent over the field guide to your PDA. You can always refer to that in a pinch.